Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's learn how to find the LCM and the greatest common factor of 6 and 10. And I like to use a factor tree, and you can use this to find the LCM and GCF of really any number. So let's get started. First, we have 2 times 3 is 6, and they're both prime numbers, so I will circle them. And then 2 times 5, circle both of these because they're prime. So I now have all the prime numbers of both numbers. I now make a little chart. And this chart just organizes everything, and I just think it makes it really easy to find the LCM and GCF. So I'm going to place the prime numbers for 6, which is 2 and 3, and then the prime numbers for 10. And if I have similar numbers, I put them in a column. I don't have a 3, so I'm going to put a 5 there. So now that I have the chart set up, for the LCM, what I do is I basically multiply these numbers together. However, if I have two numbers, since I only have two, a 6 and a 10, I will bring only one number down in the column. So I have a 2, a 3, and a 5. I then just multiply these numbers together. 2 times 3 is um, 6. 6 times 5 is 30. So the LCM of 6 and 10 is 30. So I'll put LCM. Now, uh, we can use the same chart in order to find the GCF. So let's do that. So now the rule for the GCF is if uh, you only bring down numbers if you have pairs of numbers. So we have a pair of twos because we only have two numbers, a six and a ten. And then there's not two threes and there's not two fives. So the GCF is two. So in summary, the LCM, let me see where I am on the sheet of paper, the LCM equals 30 of 6 and 10, and the GCF equals 2. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to somebody today.